optic that's supposed to be really good. I don't think it is. Hmm. Actually, I'm going off my Verizon though. So before you know it, it's gonna be Valentine's Day. So I have a few projects that I'm teaching in my class and it's like, we gotta get them done. It's like Christmas came fast. This one's going to come even faster it seems. So I just painted in a bubblegum shape and then I want this to appear like we've got some little hearts going on here, little conversation hearts. I'm just going to base a few pink ones in until I add in some other colors. Got one back down here. Hi, Linda, good morning. So Linda's got a couple of my screens that I did with snowmen on them. I, you know, you have this th fear of missing out. And so at a um, Hobby Lobby had a bunch of screens discounted. And so I bought lots of them. And now it's like, do you guys ever get to that point where why did I buy all these? Because right now I'm the owner of a lot of gumball machines as well. I, I went to Hobby Lobby after Christmas, bought some. Now you can buy those machines as well in their spring section. The little ones were in the Valentine section. So we're just going to trim it all out with some shading. <clears throat> and then let's see. And then, well, I, I did a bigger one with a gingerbread but this one's going to be a really icy cold snowman. That's what I have envisioned for him. So if you look around Hobby Lobby, you're going to see a lot of um, bubblegum machines, wood and all kinds. Hi, Lou Bell. Um, rainy Northern California, at least it's probably warm. And that's all that matters at this time of the year is if it's warm. Actually, it's not too bad here. Not bad at all. Actually, yesterday it was bright and sunny and probably in the 50s. In fact, it's supposed to be in the 50s the next three days. So if you find these bubblegum machines, you don't even really have to paint them up. They would be so cute to give like to your grandkids for Valentine's Day, just as they are. Fill them with some cute, um, like the conversation heart candy. They're really easy though to paint up. And I didn't use anything on the jar itself. I just used my acrylic paints and if you wanted to see the candy in the back, then just don't paint the back part and you'll be able to see the candy inside. But very cute. I'm in love with them for Valentine's Day. Hi, Teresa. Oh, Chris is up to Oh. At least it's warm here, so I can't complain. It is warm. 
because I know my time's coming soon. All right, now we need to put a little thing here for this gum to come out. Just shade that right in. We need a circle here. Put the money in. So see how much of that changes and all I've used so far is pink and red. It just makes so much difference. Let's grab some yellow. And then on these little hearts, I can put any kind of little sayings on these, just like conversation hearts. And then paint my frame whatever color I end up painting it. And make, mix up some orange here. Okay, now on my blue, I want to put in a few blue ones, but I also need to make this um, white globe look like glass. Just going to add some blue to my shading and go right in here. And you're going to see what a difference it makes when you do shading. So I have a painting group called Painting for Profits, and we're trying something new this month. You know, I'm always the one that comes up with a project at the very last minute. So we're going to try taking and um, designing 20 new designs during the first week of the month. So 20 new designs, that means four designs in five days, and then I take the rest of the month to market them as far as setting them into tutorials. I have now my lessons for inside of my group, So one of my things on my vision board is to be prepared this year. So see, just adding that little, look how it's coming to life when it was just plain white. But now we have, oops. Just like that, so it's coming to life. <clears throat> oh, we probably need some purple. I'll show you. So what I'm doing is I'm designing them, but I'm not going to finish them out until the actual class. Let me turn that down. And one of them, I'll show you for tonight. Look how cute this little gingerbread girl is going to be. I had to take down her bow a little bit. She was way too heavy on the bow side, but it's going to be a really cute Valentine girl gingerbread. I had thought about doing the face on here as a gingerbread as well. Good morning, Leslie. But I also had 45 minutes, so. I 
I did one of these as a big Valentine. It was red with the vintage deer on it, and it was so cute. And what'll be good is I have all these holes filled so I can come in with a um, real fine marker and add all the conversation hearts in there. All right, now we need a brighter purple. <clears throat> These don't take a long time to to work up. They work up pretty quickly. And shade around each of these little hearts. <clears throat> Make them pop out a little bit. with a little bit of white. Oh, hi, Anne. I know, that, that was one of my things on my vision board was to start waking up at 6 a.m. every morning. Some days it's going good. Some days it's like, oh, what was that decision all about and why? But I just learned I have to start wearing a CPAP machine. So maybe that will make it easier to get up in the morning. I want to add just a little bit, you know, it's kind of plain down here. Um, let's add in some candy stripes. Come over here on this side. Somehow I get to write the word, what, bubblegum's what, 25 cents? It's not really a penny or a nickel anymore. Hi, Crafty Queens. Oh, the popcorn machine, I just found it last night. I had misplaced it, or I had put it away, and then I couldn't remember where I found it. But I found it last night. So if you guys, in fact, I need to do this up for Valentine's Day. It's a popcorn machine and you can get, oh, I got it. I'm popping for you, Valentine. Or it'll, so I'll close in at least one of the windows and it'll say popping for you. It'll be red and white stripes at the base. That's all I got so far. <laughs> that was just off the top of my head. I need to find some faux popcorn. That would work really well. Um, oh, Camila, that sounds good.
All right. So I was back to my hearts here. Yeah, it's just a cute little something that you can put on a shelf with your popcorn machine. Where's the other ones that I had? So over at Hobby Lobby, look at this. They've got a They've got a bubble gum machine. I love the coffee pot, so I'm gonna make some coffee signs. Shamrock bubble gum machine. Everything's bubble gum machines right now. So I figure it'll go perfectly with whatever I come up with. Oh, Mary! I can make popcorn, can't I? With, I bought, wow, well, I think I'm up to like 13 cans of foam insulation because I wanted to make a big snowman at, um, for the winter. And I never could get enough cans. I needed 32. Or the packing peanuts, if they're not very big. I might have to just try the foam insulation just to see if it works. I made a really neat um, pumpkin. And what I did was I filled it with lights first and then put the foam in there. And it looked like it was on fire, that it was charcoal burning um, and it looked like an embery fire. It, it was really pretty. But I could make some little popcorns. I might do that for my next project, which I think I'm up next Tuesday. We'll make insulation popcorn. That sounds really good. Um... Hi, Sherry, because it's on my vision board. It's on my vision board to be up at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's what I'm wondering, too, is why. But I teach an exercise class after this. I teach silver sneakers, so makes it easier to get up for that. I'm while at class, I've been taping 15-minute segments, so they're over on my YouTube channel. I'll post, um, Melissa's the one who puts my YouTube channels up, but later today, if she has it already posted, I will post um, the link to a workout video. And the ladies do not like it when I tape over there because our exercise class is a place where you can go and find out all the latest things happening around town. It's like, well, you want to know why? It's kind of like the local hairdresser shop, you know, where you go and find out all the latest. <laughs> it's fun, though. I got some videos in there that are really good to work, you know, like your thighs and sitting up and down and all of that fun stuff that we don't like to do, including me. Um, hi, Charlotte. Hi, Tanya. Tanya, that squirrel you made is so pretty. Tanya almost came to my retreat last year, and then she was unable to come. Tanya, you need to just come, and we should sit in here and just paint. Just pick a date and come up to Illinois, now that I got this new big shop, and we'll just sit here and paint all day. Tanya paints, I always think that Tanya has that um, she reminds me of me when I paint, her, what she paints. 
So I adore all of it. That is cute. Let's put, uh, we're going to, our bubble gum is going to be cheaper. It's only going to be five cents, but I better not do that in white. Let's grab some red. Oops. Oh, you know what would be cute is if you were making this for your grandkids and you make on each heart a grandchild's name. That would be cute. But we don't want that marker. Let's see if we can find one that we'll write in here. I'm going to dry this up as well. But I can get in there. Man, my internet is really bad over here today, isn't it? Okay. We'll see if we can get in here with this. Oh, Tanya, you are very, very good. I... I don't get to watch many people paint because I'm the type that if I watch you, I want to do what you're doing and then I lose, I kind of lose myself. You ever have that where you're overstimulated and I get overstimulated and I lose focus. So I got, I've got to kind of stick to putting blinders on. Do any of you have that? It's kind of like I put that video or that little meme that said, once you're trying to declutter and you start and then all this other stuff stimulates you like, oh, I can do that real fast or, oh, let me finish that. And then before you know it, you're totally distracted from doing anything and it doesn't work. It's like you can't be distracted. And so that's why I, I really don't watch a lot of stimulating um, anything because it takes you away from uh, I was going to put my grandkids names but I think I want to sell it so but grandkids names would look cute and I am going to make these on wood, so I can always do it that way. But if, when I looked at Tanya's fence post squirrel, I was like, oh, I gotta go find a fence post. And it's like, no, 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 stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane because I would be squirrel brained just like some of you looking at me painting a screen, your thing would be, Pam, I'm going to run to Hobby Lobby and I'm going to get a screen. And it's like, no, I need to use up what I got first. So that's what I'm, I've, I've always been that way. I can't accomplish anything if I'm overstimulated. So I know people think it's crazy, but it's got to be me and Judge Judy or the People's Court because it it just repeats because I've watched them all and that does not interrupt my train of thought. So when I'm sitting here, I can't be stimulated by what other people are making. Otherwise, I get caught up in that whole, I want to do this, I want to do that, and then nothing gets done.
And so then I try to go back and watch like bedtime because, you know, then you can't, you're not able to get up and grab something and say, okay, hey, well, here's my, here's my fence post. Let me make a squirrel today when it has nothing to do with what I want to do. It's kind of like I want, I always, um, or I do print my items on wood. Well, this is what this is. This is busy work that's never going to make me any money. I'll sell it one time. But for me to make money, I need to be painting this on wood and having it reproduced a lot of different ways. Painting one of a kind is not something that I want to do this year, except for projects like this. Now, you know, this. But in all actuality, this is just busy work. We made a course called Paint It Once and Sell It Many. And that's where I lose focus. If I don't focus on that one project like this, okay, like this. So when I do this today, it'll look a lot better. But if I paint on wood, now I can mass produce these. I can have them printed on wood. I could take off the background, have it put into a PNG, all kinds of things that I can do with this after I paint it once. This is a one and done. Once it's painted, it's sold, and I've got all that time in it, and it really doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, Peaky Blinders on Netflix. <laughs> I know, I, I've got to listen to mundane stuff. If I have to think about it, I, I'm done. And then, you know, once you start your day and you get into something like that, you're pretty much done for the day. Like when I posted that, people were saying, um, I don't know, what's some conversation heart sayings? Let's put cute. But, you know, some people were saying, once I sit down, I'm done. So I don't like to sit down because that does happen. But also being taken out of my focus. And my focus has to be on what makes me money. So when I go back, because I had cleaned that mess over there one time. And it's like I just did a cleaning video organizing on my table. So don't you guys agree? You have this big painting table. I got a six foot painting table and this is all the room I got to paint. It's like there's junk all over the rest of it. I can't move. You can see, look at all the junk, you know? So I'm a painter and this is the way I make money. And this is all the room I got to paint. I got this big 40 foot shed and this is it. I got this little area. It doesn't make any sense why what we do is limited to this. How much room do I have here? I don't even have two feet. I got this little area and everything I do has to be done in here. Well, I got this huge space out there that's just holding junk. It's so not right. <laughs> Doesn't it make sense? It's like, why are we doing this to ourselves? Kiss, yes. I got to get off my little bandwagon because I'm trying to convince myself that I'm sitting here in this tiny little spot, but there's room out here for all this crap that doesn't serve me anything. Because what I need to do what I want to do is to have my husband make me a stack of wood and I just sit here and paint. All that other stuff is just clutter that is getting me nowhere. So you're going to be watching some videos. I'm going to go live today and I'm going to start just cleaning. I did that before. I got rid of like 16 bags of trash. I took four or five to the thrift store and we had like four burn piles going. 
And so my husband cleaned out my old shop. And what does he do? He brings it in here and sticks that stuff <laughs> in my space. <laughs> Hi, Diana. Okay, Tanya, you can come help me organize. Be Mine is a good one. It's just so crazy. All the stuff that we bring in and it all makes us lose our focus. Every bit of it. But then I'll touch something and I, I think that has a lot to do with it too. Once you touch it, it's like you can't do without it. So when I was cleaning before, I would put it in a black trash bag. That way, once I touched it and it went into the bag, I couldn't see it again. Um, you cutie, you. Um, well, exactly, not like the popcorn popper. <laughs> Sweet, Uggies. I'm running out of time. I'll finish the little hearts, but want you to see what it's going to look like once I paint this frame. <clears throat> so I, you know, I think that's, of course, it's that time of year when we all focus on that, you know, being more organized or trying to clean up what we have. But it's so hard. It's the hardest thing in the world to know that one of my things was not to buy any more stuff. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and then it's 90% off. And so you buy it. Well, it's only this much. So now I have all these bubble gum machines that once again are not going to be money makers for me. It's just more stuff that I have to deal with and paint. <laughs> I mean, they'll be good for projects like events and doing here, but in actuality, I need to just be painting on plain wood. This is cute though. Can you believe another week or two and it'll be past time to make any Valentine things. All right, I wanna shade up my frame too. I just don't want a plain. Let's do this. So I was doing good till I went and bought all the gumball machines. Now it's like, well, that whole theory went out the door. I should not be trusted going into Hobby Lobby. Because that's why I'm doing a frame. I've got frames that need to go. <laughs> but this will be cute. At least I have an idea. And inside of my group, I will be turning... Oh, let me see. Oh, I turned you wrong when I showed you my table, didn't I? But now I'll make one on wood that can be reproduced. Uh, doesn't that look so much better once you have that on there? I, oh, I got five minutes. I'm good. Uh, well, Tanya, you must be very, very, very organized. 
I want to be, because I've got a building and it just keeps filling up with more and more. Or I go to the thrift store and it's like, oh, yesterday I bought two spindles that are painted like snowmen. And they had four and I only bought two. I was like, I, I don't need to be redoing this stuff. But I did buy them. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to take everything off of my big shelf that I have over there because a lot of it has merchandise that needs to be sold. And I'm going to do exactly what I did. I, I got rid of a lot, but there's still a lot left. And then I could go around and add, let's see, get a... Put some little dots on here, those little three dots, and that will add to it. So instead of doing the conversation hearts, I could have put a snowman face in there. I could have made little snowman faces. All kinds of things you can do. I'm pretty excited about bubble gum machines this year. Let's see. So I could have done the exact same thing that I did on the actual um, glass one and put him right in the middle of the screen. Um, I do have auctions. In fact, my auctions are over on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. If you haven't been over there, it's a group that we set up for um, the people inside of my group. And we go live every weekend and have live sales and the first and third Friday of every month, we have an auction. And so things like this will be in there. Uh, that little gingerbread. Um, Valentine, it won't be this coming Friday. It will be next Friday. So Virtual Home Decor Marketplace, it's a great place to find all kinds of hand-painted items. Um, home decor, it's not all hand-painted, but like Darla just dropped the link here. Darla is our queen of doing screens, and she has a lot of screens. In fact, that's about all. Darla stays in her lane. I never even thought about that until just now. She just basically paints on screens. That's what she's known for. So that's something that I need to do instead of doing all the busy work like this that's out of, you know, Darla only has to worry about having frames on in stock. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think that's my time is up, ladies. I hope you like it. Um, oh, shoot. I should have went in.